Hello there, and welcome to Women's Business. My name is Dr. Marianne Schalkroft Smith, known to most as Dr. Daycare, and this is my co host, Amy Vogel. We'd like to welcome you to our mentoring program designed to educate our community on issues facing working women. We will be speaking to our guests in the areas of art, sciences, health, education, law, medicine, politics, community service, military, and business. The goal of the show is to provide information that comes only from personal experience and to pass this information down to our daughters, nieces, neighbors, family, and friends. Much of the content will relate to the guest speaker's journey in their profession, what they have learned most about this process, and what they wished they had known before this journey began. Since women-owned businesses are the fastest growing sector of our economy, my guests will close with what lesson they would like to pass on to the viewing audience. Hello there, and thank you for joining us on Women's Business. I am so honored to welcome to the show today three young ladies who are part of our Dr. Daycare and Kids Club programs. We do the show twice a year and we have our students come on and talk about what it's like in their lives and someday as they become women in business. So I am so excited you are here. Like I, I'm telling you, I look forward to the show. We had to cancel it at Christmas because of the weather and different things. And I go, Rebecca, Rebecca, we gotta do two more shows because I so missed it. So thank you. And Sophia, you're a repeat, right? You're mm -hmm. back again. So it must be a pretty good show. So thank you. So, Grace, Savoy, mm -hmm. welcome for your first time on Women's Business. Caroline Rapp, welcome to your first time on Women's Business. And so, Bea Rochette, welcome to your, back to the show. You're here. Thank you. So, let's talk a little bit about your families, because families are one of the most important parts of your life. So, you want to say something about your family that's important to you? Maybe how many brothers or sisters you have, mom and dad, grandparents. What do you want to talk about? I have one sibling, Samantha. Yeah. She's really fun. She lets us have water gun fights in her house. Really? How old is a sibling? 28. I like her already. Fantastic. And you want to say hi to her? Hi. Yeah, she's going to want to hear that. Hello. That's so nice. That's so absolutely wonderful. How often do you get to see her? Not really often, but we do see her once in a while. How nice. That's fantastic. She live close to you? Or? Um... Like, how long does it take you to drive to a house? I think it's about, like, 20 minutes or so. Oh, that's great. So that's fantastic. So you can see it all the time then, as soon as you want to. Caroline, tell um, me something about your family. I have one sibling, Julia. Julia. Hi, Julia. You want to wave hi to Julia? Hello, how Julia. How old is Julia? Julia is 23. 23, 28 and 23. You have two older sisters. This is pretty cool. Um... She just got a new job. Yeah, where's she working? Um, she works, um, I kind of forget the name of the um, place she works at, but. Yeah. She's she, liking it, she's liking a new job? Yeah, it's, I think it's called French Toast. Oh yeah, yeah French <laughs> Toast, absolutely, yeah. Does she live with you or do you visit her? Um, we visit her in Boston. Oh, how nice, that is absolutely wonderful. Wow, anyone else you wanna give a shout out to? Hi, Mom and Dad. Hi, Mom. Did you want to say hi to Mom and Dad? Hi, Mom. There hi, you Dad. go. There you go. And Sophia, tell me about your family. I'm not looking. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Grace, Grace, Grace. I'm following my notes. Grace is right here. Grace, tell me about your family. I have a twin brother. Twin brother. And his name is James. His name is James. Now, every time I see twins, the first question is, which twin is the oldest? You get asked that a lot? Yes. Yes, who's Ma. older, you or James? Me. You are older? And when was your birthday? April 14th. Just a couple of days ago? Mm -hmm. Wow, and how old did you and James? Eight. Eight years old, congratulations. You wanna say hi to him? Hi, James. That was so sweet, Grace. How about anybody else you wanna give a shout out to? Hi, Mom and Mom. Hi, Mom and Dad. Oh, how nice. Well, fantastic. 
So you want to talk a little bit about school? School takes up a lot of your life, right? It's mm -hmm. a wonderful place to be, very educational. You're learning all about where you want to be and how you want to go and all your subject matter. Home is a complement to that, of course, but school is a big piece of your education. What school do you go to, Sophia? I go to Hollowell Memorial School. Yeah. I'm in fourth grade, and my teachers are Mrs. Ferry and Mrs. Seneca. Wow. And what is your favorite subject? My favorite subject is reading because we do, like, we read a paragraph and then we have to write, like, a continuation of a story or, like, a summary of it. Wow. Do you have a favorite, a favorite book like, that you read? I think my favorite book is Wonder. Oh, my gosh. That is a good book. Wow. What do you like best about it? Um... I really like the movie. It was a good movie, wasn't it? Yeah. I like the book better, usually. And... That's it. <laughs> yeah. Was there parts in the book that, um, when you saw them in the movie, they were a little bit different? Yeah, a I lot of it. parts. Yeah, a lot of parts. But that was a really wonderful... I saw the movie, I've never read the book. It was absolutely a, a great movie. A lot, a, lot, a lot of wonderful lessons. Absolutely. Caroline Rapp? What school do you go to? Hallowell Memorial School. Hallowell Memorial School. And what is your favorite subject? Art class. Art class too, just like Gaby and Rush show. And why is your favorite subject art? Because um, you just get to do like basically anything you want. Like she tells us you can do this. Like we're gonna be doing, so our teacher, she tells us we can be, we're doing something, and then she'll let us just pick out the colors of what we can paint with, or the colors of what we can do. So it sounds or like you, sounds like your teacher lets you be smile. very creative. Yeah, I can see that smile. What's your teacher's name? Mrs. Robert, um, my teacher for our class, Mrs. Roberts. Let's give her a shout out. She makes you smile. <laughs> and who are the teachers in your, that teach you in the fifth grade? Um, fourth. Fourth grade. Who are your teachers in the fourth grade? Mrs. Seneca and Mrs. Ferry. Oh, okay, okay. You got the same teachers. That's pretty cool. That's really neat. Wow, wow. And is um, something special about school you want to mention? Um, my teachers are really fun. Um, yeah. Mrs. Ferry, um, surprisingly, she's made me fall in love with essays, writing essays. I have <laughs> never heard anyone say they have fallen in love with essays. That's absolutely amazing. If a teacher to get a student to fall in love with essays, you're going to be writing essays for the rest of your life, and you already write them in the fourth grade. That is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Tell me about an essay that you've done. Well, right now we're doing an essay. Um, wait. Yeah, we're doing, we just did an essay about immigrants, uh -huh. immigrants moving to the Northeast. Yes. From Italy to the wow. Northeast. Wow. Yeah. You get to learn a lot when you do essays, don't you? Yeah. It's a great writing experience. Now, I have a question. You're going to be teaching me something. When you do your essays, do you do them with pen on paper, or do you do them on the computer? We type them. Yeah. Huh? Wow. That's amazing to me. I, I find that hard to fathom, because when I went to school long, long, long time ago, Grace, you understand that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was done with pen and pencil on paper. And now it seems like everything has moved to computer age. So you're doing the typing, absolutely. Now, when you type, do you do the AFGF, that type of thing, or do you just um, pop They're it trying to it? teach us the AFGF thing, but yeah. I usually just type with my middle finger. Yeah, everyone's got their own way. I love going to a keyboard and watching people type, like any age, and it's, they all have their own little flavor on how to do it. Like, click, 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 click. It's pretty interesting. Do you do it with the finger? Wow. So, essays, that's pretty neat. Great teachers you got there. So Grace, tell me about what school you go to. I go to NCS Elementary School. And your North Smithville Elementary School. Mm -hmm. I just learned that today. That's pretty cool. And who is your teacher? Mrs. Leonard. In the second grade? Mm-hmm. Second grade, Miss Leonard. You want us to give a shout out to her? Hi, Mrs. Leonard. <laughs> and what is your favorite subject, Grace? Science. Science. Just like Nora from yesterday, the good show that she was just on, she talked about science. And tell me, what did you like about science? Because 
We get to do experiments. You get to do experiments. And is it an experiment that you have done that you like the most? Absorbing plants. Wow, wow. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Or would you rather not? Okay, check a little more. That's a lot of information. We'll talk about it after because it sounds very interesting that you're doing experiments. That's pretty cool. That is absolutely pretty cool. So I have a question. We're going to skip a little bit. Family, school. I'm going to talk a little bit about you. What do you want to be when you grow up? And I want to be very, very, very clear with you. What you want to be today might not be what you become. So you could be open because your life could change. But if you were today, talk about what you want to be when you grow up. That's what we're going to talk about, okay? What you think you really want to be. And believe it or not, I was in the fourth grade. I said I wanted to be a teacher, and I became a preschool teacher. That's pretty good. And it stuck. It stuck for me. I was supposed to be a fourth grade teacher. The fourth grade, I wanted to be a fourth grade teacher, but I ended up being a preschool, early childhood teacher. So sometimes it does follow you through your world. We had three teachers on the last show, right? I'm going to check in with them in about 20 years and see what they're doing. I'm going to check in with you all in 20 years and see if you become what you're going to say you are today. So 20 years, we will be teenagers. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But that would probably, if you add 20 years plus your age today, 9 or 10 or 7, then you'll be probably in your 20s and you'll probably have your, your career begin. Absolutely. Be, be through high school, be through college or technical school the service and you'll probably be starting your career in your 20s so that's why I said 20 years so tell me Sophia what do you want to be when you grow up I want to become a pediatrician a pediatrician I want to become it because I want to help kids in need if they're sick fantastic what do you like about being a pediatrician I've always wanted to be a doctor I don't know why, but I just got me interested in it. Yep. And, yeah. Well, go for it. Absolutely go for it. I think you'd be a wonderful pediatrician. Thank you. I love children. I love being around children. That's so, totally what I feel like passion's for and what I'm here for. So to be a pediatrician is a great way to be around children. And, and wellness, and, or, and when they're sick, it can make them better, which is pretty cool, too. Caroline, what do um, you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an accountant. You want to be an accountant. You're a numbers girl, huh? Wow. And why do you think you want to be an accountant? Because my mom is in is one, and she's mentioned to me that it's like solving a puzzle, basically. It is. And yes, it is. It just thought that that would be a fun job. It would be a great fun job. You know, this is all about women's business, and every business that gets started has to have an accountant. So there's a lot of businesses out there, so everyone needs a good accountant. So After I'm an accountant, I want to become a professor. A professor? You want to teach accounting in college? Wow. That's quite a career. <laughs> good for you. Good. You can do it. You can do it. <clears throat> 20 years ago, you can go back, watch the show, and you can say, here I am, I'm an accountant. Here I am, I'm a doctor. It will happen. Keep it in your heart. Grace, what do you want to be when you grow up? A police officer. A police officer. Wow. So you're going to be in safety, huh? And why do you want to be a police officer? What makes you think you want to be one? Because... Do you feel safe around police officers? And do you think you would make people feel safe? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank God for police officers. They are there to keep us safe. Mm -hmm. They are our friend, absolutely. So 20 years from now, you're going to watch the show. If you're not a police officer, you could be something else, okay? All righty. I'd like to know what your parents do. I certainly know what Caroline's parents do. Your mom is, a, um, is an accountant. And she's a professor now. And she's a professor too. Oh my goodness, you're taken right after your mom. This is wonderful. Fantastic. And what does your mom teach? My mom teaches college. So which one? Um, PC. Oh, PC college. college. Yes. And does she teach accounting? Yes. That's pretty neat. That is really neat. Wow. So you have, uh, you actually have a teacher mentor right in your house to teach you to be an accountant and also be a professor. 
follow that. That's pretty neat. Wow. I get excited hearing all this. Sophia, my, what do your parents do? My dad is um, kind of forgot, but mm -hmm. he's a food production manager. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. And my mom is works at Movement Mortgage. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, everyone gets a mortgage. She's been a pretty busy lady, I bet, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, yeah, look at those eyes. Uh-huh, very busy lady. Absolutely, absolutely. And Grace, tell me a little bit about your parents and what they do. My dad does plumbing work mm -hmm. at the prison. Yeah. And he fixes pipes and stuff. Yeah, plumbers. Everyone needs a plumber, I'm telling you. You got a broken pipe, you need a plumber. Mm -hmm. Very important. Very important profession. Absolutely. How about your mom? She is like she takes over people. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she takes like do you know people who need help with their work and stuff? Yes, I do. Like people. She helps them. She helps them. That's a pretty busy lady show, isn't it? Your mm -hmm. mom's pretty busy. Yeah. Wow. How about animals? Do you have one in your home? Do you have a pet? If you don't, what do you wish your pet would be? Carol, I will start with you. Do you have a pet? Yes. And I let's hear. Two, well, tell me a little bit about your pets. A pet. Um, I have a cat, Trinity. Oh, yeah. She's a black cat, and people say black cats are bad luck, but I don't believe that. Oh, no, I don't believe that. No, absolutely. But no. do you notice at Halloween you see a lot of black cats? Is that kind of weird or what? Mm -hmm. It's just like all of a sudden Halloween's like lots of black cats. But I think they have any cats be very good luck. My two dogs are um, a long-haired dachshund, Axel. Oh, wow. He just turned 10 Wow. In March. And... I have Gideon. He mm -hmm. can get some wild sometimes. He was a rescue. Oh, rescue He's a wild. black lab mix. Um, he was found in North Carolina. Oh, wow. Yeah. And does anyone in your family take them out to walks or are they going to the backyard? Oh, yeah. They love to go out for walks. I'm sure they do. The yeah. Every time my mom puts on this blue coat, they'll, <laughs> like, they'll like go ins nuts and insane and they'll be like, walk? Oh, my gosh. I want to go on a walk. Isn't it amazing how dogs and pets can associate? Mom puts on a blue coat and it says we're taking a walk. And I can feel their excitement. Their tails are wagging, they're looking up, they're like, oh, let's get out for a walk. Yeah, just by putting on a blue coat. So animals like this are so smart. It's amazing. Well, and do you help with your uh, pets in the house? What um, do you do? Yeah, I feed them sometimes. You feed them, I yeah. let them out. Yeah. So, yeah. How about you? Do you have any pets in your house? I have. Sophia? I have one short-haired dachshund, Reginald, or Reggie for short. Uh-huh. He doesn't really go on walks, but when my mom or me puts on a coat, he knows we're going outside. <laughs> yeah. Or when we take out his harness. Yes. Um, I feed him, and I take him out for um, to, so he can go to the bathroom. Nice. And he's really lovable. You're lovable. Does he sleep with you? No, he's only one. He's still in training. Oh, he's still he's a little pup. He's a little pup. And wow. he's a grouch sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Puppies are like that. They're playful. They can eat your slippers, you know. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they eat the furniture. They're so puppies. They're just so puppies. Mine's like having a whole bunch of little toddlers around. They're so cute. They are so cute. They got energy. They're fun. And then all of a sudden, they're like, I'm going to sleep. Right? <laughs> yes. Grace. Do you have an animal in your house? Yes. Do you have a pet? And what type of pet do you have? A Boston Terrier. Really? You got a little dog too? Mm -hmm. Yeah? He's two. He's two? Oh, so he's just out and of the puppy stage. He's three on Mother's Day. On oh, Mother's Day, he'll be three years old. Was it a Mother's Day gift for your mom? Yes. Oh, how nice. And do you help all with your pet? What do you do? What do you and James do? Um. We take them for walks out in the backyard. Nice. And we give him baths. Wow. How's he like his bath? He gets a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. He splashes everywhere. Yes. Yes. 
when I used to have dogs, I used to try and give them baths, and it's like it never worked out. The whole bathroom would be soaking wet. They just when they like take it out of the tub and they start um, shaking it off, like whoa, like the whole bathroom would be and wet. Everywhere my mom's go, he goes. Oh, he's attached to your mom. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He knows where he's loved, doesn't he? Yeah. Who pays attention to him a lot? Yes. How about after school? What do you do after school? Is there any type of clubs you're in, or dance, or piano, or after school programs? Talk a little bit about it, Sophia. I used to be in a swim class and ballet, yes. but now it started going on weekdays, which my mom didn't really, it was like hard for her. To transport, yeah. So, but right now I'm in Kids Club in North Smithfield. Yay! Yay, Kids Club North Smithfield! <laughs> Want to give a shout out to the teachers there from Kids Club? Hi, Miss Marissa. Yeah, yeah. Very wonderful, dedicated staff. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. What's your favorite thing to do at Kids Club? Either I have to do homework a lot. Uh huh. But I do like to um, use the Lincoln Logs. Yeah, good old Lincoln Logs. You play with Lincoln Logs? Yes. How about Legos? You like Legos? Yes. Yeah. Really. Every child, every kid, no matter what, even if they get to become school age and teens, and even adults love to play all kinds of blocks. It kind of felt, can just be such a great experience to create all kinds of buildings or all types of designs. It's pretty neat to do Lincoln Logs. Wow. Grace, I have a question. What do you do after school? Or on Saturdays. Do you have any clubs you belong to? Do you have any taking lessons? I go to kids club. You go to kids club too. Yay, kids club. What do you like best about kids club? I get to go on the playground and go in the gym. Wow. Wow. You get to play after school? Mm -hmm. yeah. I like to play basketball. Do you? Do you have people you play basketball with at kids club? Yeah. Who's that? Um, Noah and... Chris. Great. So Chris and Noah play with you. I love basketball. It's my favorite sport is basketball, and I go to all the basketball games. I do too. Do you? I'll probably see you there. I've been going, God, for like 20 years. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, I love basketball. It's a great, it's a great, um, great sport. I think. Yeah. I'm sure you must like it a lot, right? Mm -hmm. I can tell by how excited your eyes get. I can tell that. Okay, tell me a little bit about what you do after school. I go to kids club. You go to kids club too, yes. And I like to play with Sophia and my friend. Yeah, so your friends at kids club. Wow, pretty cool. And my other friend Lily. Yeah. And I also, after that, I go to rock climbing. Oh, you do rock climbing? Yeah, I've been rock climbing ever since I was three. Really? I have never met anyone who does it for such a sport. That's fantastic. And where do you go to go rock climbing? Rock spot and Lincoln. Really? That's pretty neat. And is it like scary being um, up there? When you're doing a hard climb, yeah, it's a little bit scary, but once like you actually get it, it's not as scary as you think. That's there are some types of climbing that if you have to like jump to a hold, yeah. there's this one sport where, kind of climbing, where you're attached to this rope and you have to clip it and you have to clip it in these clips. Yeah. And if you fall, you and you're if you're up here in the clips right here, you fall. So if you have to do a dyno, like a dyno, they call it. It's like where you jump to a hold. Yeah. Um, you you might fall all the way down. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of scary to do stuff. Like it's very that. challenging, isn't it? But I can tell you like it. I I've always can tell that. when kids like stuff they smile and their eyes just gleam and that's what I'm seeing today absolutely so Grace if you go home tonight what would you tell your parents to cook for dinner what's your favorite food um, ice cream ice cream that would be dessert do you think mm -hmm. yeah what type of ice cream do you like chocolate chocolate oh my gosh yummy 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 Caroline you go home tonight, what would you ask your parents or parent or whoever's cooking for you this evening? What would be your favorite for food? For dinner, like, if they knew how, I would ask my parents to cook me donuts for every day. You have a donut? <laughs> really? Oh, donuts. wow. What type of donut do you like? Definitely chocolate frosted with sprinkles. Oh, my God, me too. Me too. You too? Wow. How about you? I like chocolate 
frosted with rainbow sprinkles. Delicious. Wow, we all we all agree on that. Wow, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. So that would be dessert. How about your main meal? What would you get for a main meal? My main meal would probably be. Um, hmm, that's tough. I'd probably want to get um, pasta. Pasta. Yeah, there's always pasta. Seems always to pop up. And Sophia, you could ask your parents, whoever's going to cook for you this evening, what would you ask them? What's your favorite food? I would ask them to go out for sushi. Oh, sushi, yes, 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 yes. But if you can invite me, because I love sushi. But if we were cooking at home, then I would also really want pasta. Pasta, too. So it's spaghetti, macaroni, what do you like? Noodles? Um, the big shells. You like the big shells. Okay, what do you like? I like penne. You like penne? I'm a penne. What do you like? Spaghetti, pasta, little shells, twists. Oh, really? Anyone? No. Would be fine with you? No. Got it. I got it, Grace. We have like a minute left. Do you have a favorite singer or a favorite band or a favorite TV show? Go for it, Caroline. Um, I like the singer Sia. Okay. And why is that? Um, I don't know. Me and my mom just like to listen to her song. Got it. Sophia? I like Marshmallow. Okay. My favorite song by him is probably either Alone or Happier. Really? Wow. Wow. And Grace, do you have a favorite TV show or do you have a favorite singer? I have a f it's Marshmallow. Really? You're a Marshmallow too? Yeah, I like Happier. Okay, alrighty. Do you watch TV as a family together? Sometimes with your family members? Um, I yes. have a favorite movie. Oh, I'd like to hear about your movie, yes. The seventh movie of Harry Potter. Both oh, parts. Harry Potter, Harry Both Potter. Parts. Wow. Do you have a favorite movie? Yes. What is it? Jur Jurassic Park 2. Jurassic Park. Wow, you guys got some really good movies going on here. And how about you, Sophia? Any movie? I don't think I really have a favorite movie, but I do like the Disney ones. Mm-hmm. You watch a lot of the Disney? Yeah, yeah. Well, I want to say we have a minute left. Is there any question I did not ask you that you wanted me to ask? Um, yes, Grace. Have you ever seen Skyscraper? I have seen Skyscrapers. Have you? Yes, it's good. Okay. Yeah. You're enjoying it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for asking me that question. Um, a favorite play, my favorite play, is Harry Potter, The, S the Curse of Child. Yeah. It's a six-hour so you watch six hour play? You watch for it for three hours, then you take a one hour break in between each and you, then you take a break in between the hours. And then you take one hour to go to dinner and then you come back for another six hours. I'm gonna have to write that down because I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I never heard of it till today. Six hour play, that is pretty neat. Wow. The tickets and are expensive. I would do that. And Sophia? I um Probably my favorite place to go to, or I want to go to, is Paris. Okay. I've always wanted to go there. My grandmother didn't take me when she went, so it was sad. Next time, you never know, right? Put in yes. I want to say once again, it's my favorite time of the year to do the show. All the shows are absolutely wonderful, but when your students come on, I thank you very much. You're a pretty brave young woman. And 20 years from now, you're going to watch the show? Promise me? Promise. Thank you. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. See what Dick's here.